Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenorshare. So, you've just got your hands on the brand new iPhone 16e? That feeling of excitement when you unbox a new iPhone is unreal, right? The new iPhone 16e is now get rid of the old title, and sure is a budget-friendly option. It's kind of like the iPhone 14, but a 2025 version. It's pretty cool, but transferring data from your old iPhone can be a pain. Photos, apps, settings. That's a lot to move. No worries. Today, we'll show you two easy ways to transfer your data to the new iPhone 16e, which is suitable for almost all old iPhone. Let's get started. Method 1. Using Quick Start to Transfer Data First, make sure both your old iPhone and the new iPhone 16e are at least 60% charged. If you've already gone through the activation setup of your new iPhone, you'll need to reset it in order to transfer data from your old device. Just go to Transfer or Reset iPhone in the settings. From here, you can erase all the data on your iPhone. Once erased, your iPhone will reset and return to the Hello screen. In most cases, when you swipe up on the iPhone 16e screen, your old iPhone will prompt you to set up the new device. If that prompt doesn't appear, try turning off the screen of your old iPhone and waking it up again. Then, click Continue and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll need to finish setting up security features on your new device. During data transfer, you might encounter a prompt to update your device, which cannot be skipped. In this situation, it's crucial to keep both devices in transfer mode and avoid cancelling the process. Otherwise, the transfer cannot proceed. Once done, it will automatically get into the transfer page. The data transfer process might take some time, depending on how much content you have on your old iPhone. And this will transfer every pieces of your data to your new iPhone. If you want to just transfer part of the data, go to method 2. The transfer process could take even longer if you have a lot of apps, photos, or other media. If everything goes smoothly, your iPhone data transfer will be complete. Now you just need to wait for your iPhone to finish loading. Alright, after your new iPhone restarts, you might need to go through the setup again. This part of the setup is duplicated, which is a bit annoying. Once the apps and data have finished downloading, you can start using your new iPhone 16e. Although this method may seem convenient at first, due to the network problems or else, the wireless overall setup process can be time-consuming and it may fail to complete the transfer, especially if you have over 200 GB of storage. Additionally, your old iPhone needs to be running iOS 11 or above. If the transfer gets stuck or you want a faster, and more reliable alternative, try pausing the transfer and move on to the next method. Method 2. Using iCare Phone to Transfer Data Now for a faster and more reliable way, iCare Phone is a good alternative. This tool allows you to backup, restore, and manage your iPhone data with ease. And you can save a selectively local backup on your computer. You can download iCare Phone from the link in the description. Then, connect your old iPhone to your computer and open iCare Phone. Select Backup and Restore. Then click Backup Now. Then select the data you want to transfer and create a backup of your old device's data. Once the backup is complete, you can check out the data. To restore data on your new iPhone, Connect your iPhone 16e to the computer. Then click Restore to Device. Wait for a while, and iCare Phone will handle the rest. The process is simple, quick, and works with most iPhones. And this will not erase your phone and keep all your data in it, avoiding issues that might pop up during wireless transfers. And that's it. You're all set to enjoy your new iPhone 16e without the hassle of losing your important data. Whether you use Quick Start or iCare Phone, both methods should help you seamlessly transfer your information. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching 
and we'll see you in the next one.